hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how we can create a controller and create the route for that that means if we enter some uh, path in the browser we have to render our view with using the controller now first thing i'm going to create my controller using the terminal we can say php artisan make colon controller and then the controller name controller name i will specify as supervisor controller now the controller created successfully now where we can find our controller in the app folder you will see this http folder inside the controllers folder you will see this newest controller so that is the supervisor controller dot php and then uh, next thing i'm going to create a view so in the resources folder i will create the file in views folder in the views folder i will say supervisor dot blade dot php blade dot php so here i'm going to say some html code hello like that and then uh, open your controller which is in the http folder of app folder in the controllers you will see this so here i'm going to create a new function that allow us to render our view so i will say here the function and, and then the function name load view and then braces inside braces we have return view parenthesis inside parenthesis let's say the view name that we have created is supervisor.blade.php now in the laravel we don't have to specify the dot blade.php instead we can uh, just say supervisor that means the do you remember we said uh, supervisor dot blade dot php but here we only gave supervisor okay that is it so end up with the semicolon now open your route file here uh, in the routes folder you will see this web dot php so here i'm going to just say route now let me go ahead and show you if you only want to render the view for a specific path you can just say route colon colon get and then parenthesis the url i will say for slash supervisor and then a function parenthesis semi uh, parenthesis and uh, braces here i will say return view supervisor ah here we have to say semicolon now you can see that is coming but that's not the thing that we have to do because we have to render our controller now so we can just comment this and then i will pass in route colon colon get parenthesis the first one will be the path so here we don't have to say forward slash but instead we can simply say the path one without the forward slash and then comma now in the top we have to import our controller to here so we have to say use app backslash http backslash controller backslash and then supervisor controller semicolon now here i'm going to say square brackets supervisor controller colon colon class and then uh, the second argument for this i'm going to pass in the 
function name that we have defined here to return our view which is load view I'm going to say load view finally semicolon now we can just uh, refresh our page okay I hope this video helps if this video helps please subscribe to my youtube channel thank you